on that some more. But today, I want you to take just a minute and look over our words silently. Now raise your hand if you think you can read all our words. Oh gosh. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to call on some of you to read those words. Louder. Okay, I'm telling them saying for me to speak louder. So when you read them, speak clearly. You don't have to shout. Let's start with Daniel. And if Daniel reads this word correctly, let me see a thumbs up if you agree with the way Daniel reads it. Alright? You can come stand right here, Daniel. Alright? Sky. Sky is correct. Good reading, Daniel. Okay. Basket. Basket. Feet. For only five days working on this, I mean, this is just our fifth lesson. You guys are good readers. Heel. Austin, how do you know this is heel? How many L's at the end? And what else does heel have to have, Teresa? Uh. Yeah, um, because the H is because the H is first and um, that that's why it says heel. Okay, an H first and two L's at the end. Okay. I Daniel. Tree. Tree. <laughs> what do you know that's special about tree, Johnny? Because star is the T R. T R at the beginning. Anyone notice something else? Mary. Two E's on the end, and that will always spell tree. Okay, Daniel, you can sit down. Let me see your hands again. Oh, and you got all the words. Okay. All right, Justin Perkins. The word ladder? Yes. Let me see thumbs up if you think it's ladder and thumbs down if you think it's not. Look, thumbs up if you think it is. Watch, let's see. Let's, can you find ladder on the board to double check it, Justin? Is that it? Yes. 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 Good reading, Justin. Okay. Okay. Um, Emily? You are doing such good silent reading. Thank you. You've learned to be very good silent readers. Condense. Thumbs up or down? Have a great job. Fence. How did you know it was fence, Justin? Does it has an F? Okay. Apple tree. Apple tree. All right. How do you know, Whitney, that that's apple tree and not just apple? Because um, it's two words on the same card. Good thinking. If we turn this back, what do we have, Amber? And what do we have here in the Kia? Good reading. Good reading. Good. You are smart in the garden, student. 
Thumbs up or down? Is this button? Nicole, <laughs> how do you know it's a button? Because it has um, a two teeth. Where are those two teeth? In the middle. And what else does it have? <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Okay, so it has a B at the beginning, an N at the end, and two T's in the middle. Good. Reading. Okay. Whoops. Eyes. If, if Justin read that correctly, put your fingers on this, close to this part of your body. If he read it correctly. Yeah. Yes, he did. It's eyes. Okay, nice reading. Okay, Justin, you can sit down. Thank you. Let's well, agree. Okay, we're going to do these a little quicker. So do your thumbs up, thumbs down. Very good. Okay. All right. Good reading. How did you know that was clouds of read? Because it got the C first and the S on the end. C first and the S on the end. We could almost hear a breed thinking about that one. Did you start to say something else before you started to say clouds? Tree. 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 Nice. Tree. And? Bear. Bear. Good. That was good reading, guys. You have learned. Most of you have learned all these words in just a few days. All right, what I'd like you to do right now is just stand up okay. in your personal space and just sort of shake all the kinks out and get all the wiggles out. Some of the things I could have put together around the school or in this classroom, I put together a set of a books. Okay, books. books. And I'm going to, as, as I put these out, Lyle and the birthday party, moving day, and white tail. Frog. Lightning. Oh, so Can you read that one? Lightning. And. But the moths. I'm going to do something. I'm going to create another set. This is just a set of books. I'm going to take some books away. And then you study the books that are left and see if you can tell me how there's something that's alike about all of them. But don't say it aloud. Just see if you can figure out. <laughs> when you think you know. What's alike now about all those books from looking at the cover and the titles? Mary. Um, they are, um, all the titles, they, um, some of them are the first, like, that was the first one here, and the butterfly. Color. They both stop. Oh, they both. You have some, like birthday and butterflies, where the title has a B in it. Okay. That's how some of them are alike. Who has an idea about how they're all alike? Whitney. Um, 
They all have animals on the front of them. Do you know what? That's the set I created. The one that had to do all about animals. Now, I want you to study them carefully, looking at the cover and thinking about the titles. And I'm going to create another set. And I'll try to see if you can tell me what it's like. I look carefully at what's left. Who knows what kind of set we created now? You have an idea, raise your hand. Teresa, give it a try. Listen, everyone, listen to the tree. They all, they all have animals on it, except for the butterflies, the two butterflies on the top. Okay, they all have animals. They're all about animals. Even the butterfly insects, we can, we can consider those animals. Daniel. Because they're all forest animals because they're forest animals. Well, most of them are, even though the butterflies could be out of the forest. That's good thinking. Good thinking. Joshua? I That looks like it have all the colors in it. The colors might be different. The colors might be different, and here a lot more color things. Let's let's just listen to the first. This one is called Frog, and let's see what the author tells us on the first page about frogs. There's not a lot of pictures on this one, so I'll just leave it so you can see the frog. A frog is <coughs> at home on land and in the water. It spends the first few weeks of its life as a legless, fish-like tadpole, which looks nothing like a frog, but then it begins to change. This book will show you how the tadpole grows legs and loses its tail, and how it changes its shape to become a little frog. You will also meet some of the many enemies that catch and eat frogs at all stages of their lives. And here's the next picture. Ugh. Okay, and the title of this book is Frog. Now, let's look at this one. And what do you notice about this frog that's different from this frog? Amber? It's green. It's green? Okay. Whitney? And it has a basket in the hand. It has a basket in its hand. Now, do you, what do you think about? Do you think... What do you think about the frog who's carrying a basket and the frog who's sitting on a leaf? What's the difference? Anybody have an idea about how they're different? <laughs> Agree? Because the bullfrog is colored in the uh, in the other book about frogs is um real. Okay. Raise your hand if you agree that that's one of the differences. Is this frog, which one is real? Raise your hand. Is this one real? No. Is this one real? Yes. And what, what was the clue that let you know that, that this one was not real? A break? Because it's not right that frog on that book. Okay. What is it doing that we probably wouldn't see very many frogs doing, Johnny? Um, walking up. Walking upright, standing upright, and what else? Whitney? It's, um, smiling. Okay, it's smiling. And look at this frog. It might be smiling, but if it is, we don't know. Okay. All right, so this is, as Abri said, this is about real frogs. 
So what belongs in our set? Let's see. Do you think Lyle and the birthday party would belong in our set? No! Why not? Who has an idea about why not? Who has an idea? Justin Frost? Because um, it's not about animals. Is it about animals? What do you think Lyle is? An uh, animal. Yes, he's a crocodile. Uh, I saw some little crocodiles. All right. Who has an idea about? You said this one would not belong in our set. Why, Nicole? Um. It can be in our set because it's about um, animals. It could. It, it's about animals, you're right. It could be about animals. But it doesn't belong in our set. Because, because it's not a real animal. Raise your hand if you agree. It's not a real lie. The crocodile is told in this story is not a real animal. Okay, you're right. This is a fiction book. <laughs> Not about real animals, and these are about real animals. Okay, now, how many people know what a promise is? Anyone tell us if you say, I promise, what that means? Austin? That means you'll call somebody. And what does that mean when you say, I promise? You'll do it. It means you'll do it. Well, you know what? Titles promise the reader something. When this author titled his book, Frog, he promised the reader that it would be about what? Frog. Oh, that's right. And this one, when this author gave it the title, White Tales, he promised us that it was going to be about what? White Tales. And White Tales are what? What? What kind of animal? Deer. Deer, that's right. And this author entitled the book Butterflies and Moths, what did he promise us? He promised you write about butterflies and moths. That's right. And this one's a little harder. This one is called Hiding Out. Well, the author, he promised that he would write about frogs. And what do you think will be hiding out in the forest? A frog. Frogs. Frogs and? Snakes. Snakes. Maybe all sorts of animals. Ooh, frogs. They will be hiding frogs out. Not a nice time. Okay, now, tough task. I want you to take a, just a minute, study our picture, and think about what's going here. Think about what's going on in our picture, what you see. And if we were going to write a book, a story about our picture. What would be a good title that would let our readers know what it's about? Don't say anything yet. Everybody try to think of a good title. Put this one off. We like, like to read. To read. Okay. Think about the picture. If we were going to write a book about our picture, what would be a good title? Mary? The Bear in the Woods? The Bear in the Woods. Say it again. The bear in all the words. The bear in all the words. The bear in all the words. All the, the words. words. Man, that's a long title. It is a bit of a long title. Whitney, what do you think would be a good title for our book? The bear that went on a picnic. The bear that went on a picnic. Okay. He 
went on a picnic. Okay? It's not a very tidy oh, scene. Nicole. Um, the bear and the apples. The bear and the apples. Okay. The bear. The apple. And the apples. The apples. The apples. Yeah. That's fun. Alright. Ashley? Um, the bear and the trees. The bear and the trees or and the trees? The bear and the trees. Okay. The bear. And. And. I-N or A-N-D? I-N-D. It could be either way. Okay, who has, who else? Who has one that we haven't confirmed? A good title. Amber? The bear in the forest. The bear in the forest. Okay, uh, Justin? Austin? The bear eating. Okay. Teresa. The bear is in the tree. The, the apple tree. The bear is in the apple tree. Alright. Joshua. The bear playing. The bear playing. Okay. Okay. I know we didn't get one from everyone yet, but let's read over what we have. Okay. Possible titles in terms of our book. Okay. I, we, we can like to read. read. Alright, let's do it together. We, we like to read. Alright, whose title was this one? Anyone remember? Whitney. 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 Okay. I, the bear and all the words. words. That was Mary's. Okay, alright, read that one for us, Mary. <laughs> And I'll read this one first, then you read it with me. The bear that went on a picnic. Together. The bear that went on a picnic. That was Whitney. Okay. All right, sit up, Johnny. Whitney. Okay. That was The bear and the apples. Let's read it together. The bear and the apples. Okay. And I'll read it first. And I'll read it with N in it. The bear in the trees. Now together. The bear in the trees. The bear in the forest. Together. The bear in the forest. Okay. The next one is the bear. The bear eating. Now you. The bear eating. Okay. The next one is the bear is in the apple tree. The bear is in the apple tree. And the next one, the bear playing. The bear playing. Okay. Nice job. <coughs> now tomorrow we're going to write some sentences and we're going to look at your titles again because we've got a mixture of sentences and titles and some address more of the picture and some uh, not as much of the picture. So we'll work on that tomorrow. And for homework, I'd like everybody to think of a sentence that tells us something about
Hi, this is day six with Miss Griffith's kindergarten students. And yesterday, you guys generated some very good titles about our picture word chart here. And we had things like the bear and all the words, the bear and the trees, the bear that went on the picnic, the bear and the apples. Lots of very good titles that we could write about. And then you had for homework, raise your hand if you remembered what your homework is. Nicole. Um, write a sentence. Write a sentence that tells something about what is happening in our picture. Or to think of a sentence. You didn't have to write it if you didn't want to, but at least to have one ready to share in terms of what happened in our picture. Mary. I haven't thought of How many of you thought of more than one sentence? Raise your hand. Oh, good. That's because you're such smart language learners, such good learners in general. Okay. Well, I'm going to take just a few minutes, and we're going to review a little bit about titles and books. Remember when we classified our books yesterday, the different types? And I want you to take a look again as I classify. I'm just going to put all these books up, all mixed up, and then I'm going to create a set about it, and you see if you can tell me about that set. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. I'll let you take a look. Ooh, one the one that one one that I got that one. I got I got I got I got I got I got that one. I got that one. I got that The title of this book is Fire Dog. Firehouse Dog. And the firehouse dog is what kind of dog? A Dalmatian. Okay. All right. And who is that with him? A Dalmatian. A firefighter. A firefighter. Okay. All right. So that's one. Okay. Then take a look at this. Aww. A butterfly. A butterfly. It's a butterfly. That's not a butterfly. A butterfly. It is a butterfly. It's a lot like a butterfly. But it's a moth. It's I, a moth. I, I That's right. It. It's a moth. And the title of this book is A, a Moth Is Born. A moth is born. Okay. A moth is born. Alright. Now. <laughs> Jen had the mice dancing and wearing clothes. I'm going to take this one away that has the guy riding a mouse. And we're going to leave Firehouse Dog, A Moth is Born, and Tennis Down. Now, who can tell us what's alike about that set of books? Mary? Um, I'll um, they are all people. There are people on the front of each one of them. Does it look like real people? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. No, just on that fireman. On the fireman? On that one looks like a photograph. That's right, Brie. What else? Who has some more ideas about Joshua? This book titled The Moth is Born. Raise your hand if you think you know what's going to be inside a book that has that title and that cover. Ashley. It will have a moth in it and people. It will have a moth in it and people. Good thinking. Alright, let's look at this one. Tennis. And the title of it is Tennis. And what do you think this book is going to be about with this picture and a title called Tennis? Amber. Would you say that louder? Okay, there will be people playing tennis in it. Good thinking, guys. All right, now, I've selected two of our titles to work with as we write some of our sentences. I want to read you a, a few sentences from a couple of our books to think about the title and then what the author promises, okay? This is from A Moth is Born, and listen to just the first few sentences. 
The beautiful giant silk moth settled on the green leaf of an apple tree and lay a tiny egg. I can see. I can see. A very small caterpillar began to grow inside the egg. It found plenty to eat there as the egg contained a tasty liquid. Ooh. So that's the first two or three sentences from a moth was born. All right, when you look at this book, what do you think the title is? Ooh, dinosaur. Oh, uh, a dinosaur could be in there. Dinosaur, yes. Okay, let's listen to just the first sentence or two. Long, long ago, strange creatures called dinosaurs lived on the land and in the water. Dinosaur means terrible lizards because dinosaurs looked like lizards, but they were much larger. Right. Now, if we write, if we wanted to write a book about what's in our picture, and this is the cover of our book, two of the titles I selected to work with out of all the titles you gave, raise your hand if you can read this first title. And you want to look carefully at the first title. Whitney. Uh, Okay. All right. Is that correct, Ashley? John, do we need to separate you? Okay. Would you read it too for us, Ashley? Would you read it in your loud voice? Good reading. Good reading. Raise your hand if you can read the second one. Everyone read it silently. And if you can read it. A brief. The bear, the bear and the tree. Okay. The bear and the, look at it careful. Which do you think it, can you tell us why you changed your mind and decided that was apples of brie? Because I saw the A. Okay, because she saw the A. At first she said trees, but then she changed it and corrected herself. All right. Now, as you give us sentences, think about the cover of our book and the title could be either one of these. And who has a sentence ready? Mary? Bear, um, bears, okay. bears, eat, trying to use my neat penmanship today, apples, A, P, P, L, E, S. All right, let's read this sentence. The bears, bears eat, eat apples. apples. Again. The bears eat apples. Okay. Cola. The bear salt apples. The bear salt apples. Okay. The B H E the bear. B E A R salt, salt. apples. A P C L E S. Okay? Let's read this sentence. The bear saw apple. Okay? Alright. Tarika. The bears like apples. The, the bears bear like apples. Okay, Amber? The bears like honey. Well now, can we tell that from our picture? You're right. That's a good sentence though. It is a very good sentence. Mm -hmm. Nakia? The bears, the bear and the bear. 
Can we tell that from our picture? No. The bear had a bad day? He might have. Again, but that, that's a very good sentence. But think about if we're writing a book, and on the cover of our book is the title, The Bear in the Trees, or The Bear in the Apples, and this picture is the cover. What kind of sentences would we be promising the reader? Nicole. Um, the bear climbed the apples to get the apples. Bear climbed a ladder to, a ladder to, to get to get a apple. Okay, I want to change that to, to get an apple. Alright. Who has another sentence ready? Ashley? Okay. Okay. The bear bear climb climb tree the tree to to pick apples pick apples. Oh. Okay. All right, let's read this sentence. The bear climbed the tree to pick apples. Who can read this sentence all by yourself? All right. Uh, Justin Perkins. The bear climbed the tree to Okay, that's right. You self-corrected. That is pick. Would you read that again loudly enough for the camera to hear you? The bear climbed the tree to pick apples. Oh, good reading. You guys are such good readers. Okay, who can read this one? Joshua? The bear... The bear. That one bear or more than one bear? The bears are like, like to be a bear. That's your sentence, I bet. The but think about this word right here. Uh huh. That's right. Now read it. The bears came like, like apples. Let's read that one together. The, the bears like apples. Okay, who can read this one? The kid. Bear. Eat. Close. Eat. Eat. Okay. Bears eat apples. All right. Who has the sentence ready? Look carefully at our picture. Think about what you see in it. Okay. Amber. Okay. The bear is in the tree. Okay. I added that one word is so we would have a sentence. Now would you read it for us, Amber? The in your loud voice. The bear is in the tree. Okay. Alright, Cola. The bear like apples in the bear oh. 
In our tree, in our picture, what's something we can see right here, Mary? Um, the bears, they were all pants. I mean, the bears' pants legs are rolled up. The bears' pants legs are rolled up. Okay. The bears' pants legs. Are rolled uh, up. Good. Agree. Um, the the bear just got. <laughs> he may, but we can't quite tell that from our picture. Think the, about just what you can see there that we know the for sure. Bear, the bear just sitting there. The bear is just sitting there. The bear is just sitting there. Okay. The bear, bear likes apples, apples and the bear is climbing the tree. It's yeah. a long sentence, a compound sentence. Okay, how about this one? The bear is sitting by the Basket. Okay. The bear is wearing overalls. The bear's pants legs are rolled up. Mary. The bear is just sitting there. Good reading. Good reading. We're going to put these sentences going to put those sentences into the computer and give you a sheet of them so you can practice your reading. And if you didn't come up with a sentence, uh, I'll ask Miss Griffith if she can't get us a sentence from you to, to share. Okay. All right, let's just quickly go around our words and read them together. Here we go. Everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.